Hello everybody and welcome to this macroeconomic video on long run aggregate supply which as the name would suggest is slightly different to short run aggregate supply. And we have two theories on long run aggregate supply. We have classic theory and Keynesian theory and in this video I shall examine classic theory. Now classic long run aggregate supply theory suggests that in the long run output is fixed at a set amount so aggregate supply total supply in a whole economy total output of a whole economy is fixed at a certain level so our curve here shows a long run aggregate supply classic curve and it is vertical it goes straight up and this shows exactly what I've just said so no matter what the price whether the price is P1 or P2 our output is still at Q1 so output is fixed at Q1 it's fixed at a certain level so therefore, as it's fixed at a certain level, we can't produce any more. So this means that our long run aggregate supply curve is equivalent to working on the PPF. Because if you remember when we were working on the PPF, we couldn't physically produce any more. We were working at maximum efficiency. And that's what the long run aggregate supply classic curve shows. It shows that we can't work any more because it's fixed at this level of output and that we're working at maximum efficiency because of this. But why is this? Why are we working at full efficiency and why can't we produce any more than this set output level? Well, that's due to three things. There are a fixed amount, a finite amount of resources in order to produce goods, labor in order to produce goods and physical capital in order to produce goods. So once we've used up all of these things, then we can no longer produce any more. So when we are at full efficiency, all of our resources are used in the most efficient way, all of our labourers employed, full employment, employed in the most efficient way, and we have no more physical capital left to employ. So therefore we can only produce a certain amount, and this output level, this certain amount, is Q1. However, our long run aggregate supply classic curve can be changed, it can be shifted. Now if there is an increase in long run aggregate supply, so our maximum output level increases, then the curve shifts right. And this is because Q1 would increase to Q2, so therefore we maximise our output by increasing our output level from Q1 to Q2. But also it can decrease, our long run aggregate supply can decrease, our maximum output level can fall. And this is shown by a shift left of the curve. And these things can be changed due to a couple of things. Our long run aggregate supply, our maximum output level, can increase if there are advances in technology, so we can produce more, and investment in physical and human capital. So we create new goods, we make new goods, new physical goods, which can assist us in production, and we train and educate our workforce so that they are more efficient and can produce more. So therefore, if technology advances and there is investment in human and physical capital, there will be an increase in long run aggregate supply. So our curve will shift to the right. Our maximum output level increases. And this is equivalent to our PPF expanding. 